Well, Katie, we've got the ISM number for January, and it is at 49.1. I think you're probably too young to remember uh, Get Smart, the TV show. What we could say, missed it by that much. Uh, the forecast was for 47.2. So it's the highest since the last time we were at 50, which was in October of 2022. And it does suggest some improvement on the horizon, as do the sub-indexes. New orders are up to 52.5 from 47. And production up to 50.4 from 49.9. One downer employment, 47.1, falls from 47.5. We had seen that in some of the regional indexes and the forecast for manufacturing jobs uh, tomorrow is not particularly great. Uh, the other number that everybody watches is prices paid, and that goes up. 52.9 from 45.2. So uh, we had been seeing prices continue to fall, but now they seem to be moving higher. Something to ask Tim Fiore about. He has been telling us that uh, he thought we had bottomed, and it does look like we are on our way back up if this kind of momentum can be sustained. And Mike, I have to admit, I didn't get the reference, but I would have been polite about it in either way. But let's also talk about some of the other data that we got earlier this morning, that is initial jobless claims coming in higher than expected. How does that set us up heading into the big one tomorrow? Well, it really has no relation because that's from uh, last week in the end of January, and the job survey is taken during the week that includes the 12th of the month, basically. So uh, they're not really related, but the question is, do we see uh, the, uh, the increase that we got continuing going forward, suggesting that maybe the labor market is weakening. The anticipation, as you mentioned earlier from uh, the Economist We Survey, is that we still had a strong month in January with 185,000 jobs. And uh, if you want a, uh, a nice uh, size and scope statistic, the unemployment rate set to rise, according to economists, to 3.8 percent. But that would be the 24th straight month, two years, where unemployment has been below 4%.